origins of various foods. Today, we're diving into the rich history of the iconic Po Boy sandwich, a culinary gem born from a blend of cultures, flavors, and heartwarming stories. Before we start, hit that subscribe button faster than you can say Po Boy to join our flavor-packed family, and feel free to comment on what could be improved so that we keep improving our videos. Our story begins in the bustling city of New Orleans, Louisiana, during the early 1920s. In the early 1920s, New Orleans was a bustling and culturally diverse city, known for its vibrant music, rich Creole and Cajun culinary traditions, and a thriving maritime industry. However, during this time, the city, like the rest of the United States, was grappling with the challenges of the Great Depression, which began in 1929. The Great Depression was a period of economic hardship characterized by high unemployment rates, and widespread poverty. Many families struggled to make ends meet, and labor disputes were not uncommon. It was in this challenging economic climate that Benny and Clovis Martin, two brothers of French and Irish descent, decided to open a small sandwich shop. Their shop was located in the heart of New Orleans, where it served as a beacon of hope for the hardworking laborers who were facing tough times. The Martin brothers recognized the need for affordable, hearty, and filling meals that could sustain the city's labor force through long, demanding days of work. To address this need, they crafted the Po' Boy sandwich, initially referred to as the Poor Boy. This sandwich was designed to be not only delicious but also affordable. It consisted of fresh French bread, typically filled with fried seafood, such as shrimp and oysters, and accompanied by a simple yet flavorful dressing of lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and mayonnaise. The affordability and generosity of the Martin brothers became legendary during the Great Depression. In 1929, when the streetcar workers of New Orleans went on strike to demand better wages, and working conditions, Benny and Clovis Martin showed their support by offering free Po' Boy sandwiches to the striking workers. This act of kindness and solidarity made headlines and endeared the Po' Boy sandwich to the local community. The name Po' Boy became synonymous with a sandwich that symbolized compassion, unity, and resilience in the face of adversity. As a result, the Po' Boy sandwich not only filled empty stomachs, but also became a unifying force during one of the most challenging periods in American history. Today, it stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of New Orleans and its dedication to preserving its unique culinary heritage. As we sink our teeth into the po' boy, we savor the harmonious blend of diverse culinary influences. Seafood, particularly fried shrimp and oysters, were the original fillings, reflecting the Gulf Coast's bountiful waters. The succulent seafood combined with fresh vegetables, tangy pickles, and a generous smear of mayo, all nestled between a fluffy French bread loaf. One of the key elements to this culinary marvel is the French bread. A delightful marriage of French and African culinary traditions, the crusty, airy baguette was an excellent vessel for the scrumptious fillings, ensuring a satisfying crunch with every bite. It's fascinating to see how this culinary fusion has stood the test of time. The Po' Boy's dressing is a crucial element that sets it apart. A medley of shredded lettuce, juicy tomatoes, tangy pickles, and a dollop of creamy mayo creates a symphony of flavors and textures. While various dressings have evolved over the years, this classic combination remains a fan favorite. You can't talk about Po' Boy's without mentioning the esteemed Leidenheimer Baking Company. Since the 1890s, this family-owned bakery has been supplying New Orleans with their legendary French bread, making the Po' Boy experience complete. As New Orleans' charm spread across the nation, so did the popularity of the po' boy. Its irresistible taste and rich history caught the attention of foodies and travelers alike, turning it into a must-try delicacy for anyone visiting the Big Easy. Over the years, chefs and home cooks alike have experimented with various fillings, giving birth to exciting po' boy variations. From roast beef to fried chicken, there's a po' boy for every palate. However, purists still advocate for the traditional seafood po' boy, believing it to be the heart and soul of this iconic sandwich. As we conclude our gastronomic journey through time, we can't help but marvel at the Po' Boy's captivating tale. From its modest beginnings as a meal for the working class to becoming a symbol of resilience and unity, this sandwich embodies the spirit of New Orleans. So, next time you bite into a mouth-watering Po' Boy, remember the rich history and the hard-working hands that brought this culinary delight to life. Until next time, happy eating!